Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss about the code, actual code uh, which was written uh, one year back uh, for the video which you can see over here, uh, how to test a uh, IVR or a voice bot uh, using a Tulio, right? So if you have not seen the video, uh, the link is given in the description section. Over here what we are going to discuss is how to, how what is exactly the code is and how to do that. Uh, before moving on, uh, this is just a simple request to everyone. If you're watching or consuming any of the uh, content from the creator, just subscribe to their channel. It's not specific for me, for all the content creator that you're watching. It's free for you, but it does help the content creator. <clears throat> uh, before I move on, uh, I am down with COVID, I think. Uh, so my voice is not that good. But anyway, uh, okay, so over here we have created, okay, again, this code is already present in the GitHub and you can check the link in the description section, right? Okay, so what we have done over here is we have created a Spring Boot application and in that, uh, this is the application starter and then we have uh, three controllers, right? And then I have used a uh, few models, right? That I will also explain and the service, okay? Now, Let's start from the basic, right? So the if you have seen that previous video uh, of the testing, right? What we are doing, we are doing that testing of an IVR from using a Excel, right? So let me open this location first of all. Let me go to this location and open this one. <laughs> Okay, so over here the use case is once I say hi, uh, oh, sorry, uh, I call the, uh, what is this, bot, right? So this will play something like that. User will say update address, then it will ask for the address and this, and then it will confirm, and then we are just hanging up. And this is say, uh, like, what is the user input, right? So if I go to my dialog flow, right, if I say hi, so it will say uh, blah 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 same use case right i will say update address and it will ask me so i will give let's say any of the zip code and um, it will just disconnect the call playing back the <coughs> excuse me uh playing back the uh what is this uh, zip code that we have entered okay now to understand this right uh, let me draw something called Just a high level paint. Okay, so what is happening over here is from architecture point of view, right? What is this? Okay, so this is what uh, uh, is happening from architecture point of view, right? So this is a Java Spring Boot web service that we have, okay? When we click on or let's say trigger a URL, okay, that uh, there is a code a piece of code which starts the call right what it do is it sends a signal to Tulio that okay now dial to this number which is the IVR number right so it dials the number uh, it plays out uh, so the IVR plays out the prompt it captures that prompt okay using gather right uh, that is speech recognition technique or uh, terminal command that I have once it recognizes Tulio, right, it sends it back to the Spring Boot, right? Now, why I have used Spring Boot? Because we have to tell Tulio, once it gathers some input, right, what to do with that input, right? Uh, and since it's all dynamic based on the database, that's why we are using uh, a web service so that we can pass the URL, what to do with the capture input. So it comes over here, then it plays back... Uh, it sends the signal to Tilio to send update address. It plays back to the IVR. IVR says enter the zip code and blah, blah, blah. And it goes and hang up, okay? This, all, this architecture diagram or the sequence flow, you can say, is also available in the GitHub. Don't worry about that. Now, coming to the code, which is the basic thing, right? So, let me just expand it, okay? So what we are giving over here, we are giving few details. Uh, it's asking for uh, SID and auth token. So if I go back to my Tulio, right? Tulio console, once it loads, okay, remember. 
uh, it asking for a URL. Okay, so now since I have not deployed this application anywhere, I am using ngrock, right? So what will happen is now Tilio will respond back everything to this HTTPS uh, address. If you're deployed, uh, you don't have to change every time the app stops. Okay, anyway. So where I was with Twilio, okay. So here is my Twilio, this is the account SID. So once you log in right in the main dashboard only, you can find the SID and our token is this one, which I have hided out. Uh, don't want you to use mine. Uh, this is a phone number that you can provide. So this is the phone number that I have and IVR phone number since I am using, uh, what is this? I think Dialogflow. So Dialogflow provides you free phone numbers. So I'm using this one, right? So let me just copy and paste it over here. Okay. So, okay. So what we are doing is we are first creating a get uh, web service or a URL, right? Which will just asking for to execute this URL, nothing to pass, nothing to do anything. What it will do, it will create a call, right? As I explained over here, it will trigger a call uh, and pass the URL. URL is nothing but this web service. And over here, what we are passing is send first. So like uh, we are instructing to you, once you make a call and gather the input, send that input over here to send first. And this is nothing but our second web service okay which is in post okay so uh, Twilio only support post while uh, sending the set call back okay and what else we are passing we are passing the phone number to call we are uh, uh, passing our phone number right and this is just a JSON display okay so so far we have just started the call okay now what will happen once user Twilio makes the call and capture the gather the input right it will send it to over here okay now what we are doing is we are uh, using Excel service so over here since uh, uh, we have a database which is Excel this one right so what I am doing is I am loading all this data into uh, DAO or uh, what is that uh, uh, data access object okay and I have everything loaded and written as a array list okay so that I code I that I have written uh, going back to my code so what I am doing is I'm just checking for if it is one or not and passing the hint I think I'm passing the hint yeah so based on the input right uh, what input will be based on like the first will be the bot input right which is nothing but uh, the IVR which will be played so I'm just passing the hint so that the recognition is much better right so this is done so first it recognize it send us this one right send first and we uh, match against that second what it does is we pass the new URL which is send next which is our web service second web service you can even say and from here what happens is we are uh, uh, again perform the same thing we get the excel data and then what we are doing is we are getting the speech result right which has been recognized by the Twilio for the IVR we are doing converts and just just to make it uh, uh, recognition more appropriate then what we are doing is what is next to do right if it is a say we will say it out right uh, so our input was uh, update address if it is a DTMF we will press the key right so one two three four five six like that and if it is a hang up we are hanging up right that's it that's the whole code over here so we gather and as you've seen the flow right uh, if it is a say we are playing at update address and then enter the zip code done and then if it is a hang up we are sending the Twilio to hang up the call okay so this is so far all the details that we have done okay now what I will do is just just to make sure that uh, it's working or not uh, just make a test call 
I will start the server. Okay. Wait, why? What happened? Uh, let's try again because what is happening? So let me just scroll up and it's starting up the server for me and it has started okay so it has started at the point uh, port number 8080 what i will do is i will go localhost uh, 80 localhost 8080 slash what was the name of our iOS web service uh, it was i think execute test case so we will execute the test case so what it will do is it will just pass the command over here to tell you and this is the url that we are passing and now Tulio is making a call okay it is happening in from the Tulio end right i will show you over there what exactly the uh, what is it uh, the call recordings also right so it's executing the sequence once it says hi uh, from it recognized that one and what Tulio recognizes is this one please hi welcome to this one then it recognizes here i can help you with okay so it recognized properly over there and speech recognized by Tulio is thank you for your response okay so it doesn't recognize completely so there are some mismatch uh, with respect to recognition uh, maybe passing the hint is not working properly or something like that or i have to check but uh, yeah this is how we can uh, this code can be modified or improved vastly right so what i will do is i will just go to my phone number just to see the call recording okay uh, okay it's loading up and uh, once it loads up, I will click over here and I will see call logs. This is my current call log over here, right? Uh, 31st October, right? Previous was 24 October when the code was actually written. Then I got COVID or kind of a COVID symptoms voice was not there for last one week okay so now if you see uh, i have a recording i will play it out and hopefully you can hear also hi welcome to read the manual please type in few words about your query update address sure i can help with address update please say your current zip code ws 29 nh hmm. thank you for your response Okay, so we saw, right, uh, what happened is we played back the zip code as WS29NH. So what we can do is instead of saying that, we can add one more like uh, spell it out or something like that. And you can use uh, uh, like a space kind of a thing, right? Uh, which will make it say it like a single letters rather than try to speak it as a word but anyway this is a high high level uh, we can definitely improve on the code uh, if you have any suggestions uh, so yeah thank you and have a nice day bye